uh, this afternoon, just after our egg hunt and Easter basket blessing, a parishioner gifted me with two tickets to Peter Pan downtown. And while these days of Holy Week are busy, surprisingly, Holy Saturday is fairly chill. So I asked one of my priest friends to join me, and to all of our surprise, Deacon Juan was just two rows behind me at the exact same show. We had no idea we were both going there. Uh, he went to get baptism candles, by the way. He didn't escape. <laughs> it was a fun musical. I highly recommend uh, you to see it if you haven't yet. Um, but as I was watching it this afternoon, I was struck by the significance it has to this very night and the mysteries we celebrate. Peter Pan can't let go of his life in Neverland. He's afraid to grow up and become an adult man. And his fear has himself so tied down that he even lets this woman, Wendy, who loves him most, go back to the real world and he stays behind. He is so comfortable in this world that he views as adventurous and life-changing that he can't see the obvious dangers and shortcomings. Is it exciting to be chased by pirates when you're a boy who believes the lie that he will live forever? Sure. Is it adventurous to live in tree houses and fly with fairy dust? Yes, but also impractical and dangerous at the same time. Honestly, as I watched it, I could think of as many arguments to live in a treehouse and fly uh, and, f and fighting pirates all day as one could think of excuses to commit any sin, be it adultery, robbery, stealing, whatever. Most sins are very comfortable and they make us feel good, while at the same time, they hold us back from being our full and mature selves, like Neverland. The boys stay boys, the girls stay girls. Do they keep their innocence? According to Disney and whoever wrote this musical, it seems like they do. But they stay immature and infantile. Sin keeps us from blossoming into the fullness of ourselves that God desires us to be. Sin can be very comfortable and even comforting, but it doesn't allow us to progress and grow into the best version of ourselves. Sin keeps us tied down, enslaved, and trapped. But we don't mind it because we're comfortable. The Hebrews, as they were being freed from slavery in Egypt, complained nonstop to Moses. Why did you take us away? Yes, we were enslaved, but at least they fed us. Yes, we had to do hard labor, but we had a bed to sleep in. Why did you take us from Egypt to wander in the desert? The Hebrews were so comfortable in their enslavement, they didn't want to go through the hassle of freedom. And how often do we share in that same tribulation? I'll get to Mass when I can, but I'm busy. God knows I love him. He'll understand. I ignore my mom sometimes because I need to relax. She has dementia anyway. She won't even re remember asking me. Why should I stop watching porn? It doesn't hurt anybody, and it makes me feel good. I like to gossip about people with my coworkers. It builds community. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned, 
I steal from work, I lie to my spouse, I yell at my kids, but I haven't killed anybody. All of us, myself included, have our excuses for staying tied to our sinful behaviors. We can all be like Peter Pan and never want to leave our sinful Neverlands. But we need to be like Wendy and grow up. Sin is sin. There's no excuses. We have to grow up spiritually, take ownership of our sins, and live as Jesus. Baptism is ultimately what frees us from our enslavement to sin, and for those of us already baptized, we have the sacrament of reconciliation to free us again and again from the sins that weigh us down. Jesus gave us the sacraments to help us turn away from the darkness of sin and live in his light that we have represented here in this paschal candle. But none of this is automatic. Baptism is a sacrament that frees us. It is not a sacrament that enslaves us. God is not a slave master. He is our Father. So my friends, if we are baptized, or about to be baptized, Baptism doesn't enslave us to become God's puppets. We still have free will. We still have concupiscence, which means we're inclined to sin. We have to make the conscious decision every day to turn away from the darkness with the help of God and turn toward the light. We have to grow up, and become the saint that God is calling us to be. We have to stop with the excuses, forget about our comfort, and learn to love the uncomfortableness of following Jesus, cross and all. As Pope Benedict XVI once said, we were not made for comfort. We were made for greatness. <laughs>